Are you getting ready to order new handlebars for your motorcycle? Maybe you and your friend or you are thinking, hmm, I'm going to get that wiring extension kit and use that kit on these handlebars because they are taller than what my factory plugs and wire harnesses will stretch. I think I'm going to do that. Now, when you receive that handlebars and wiring kit, it comes with the wiring kit comes with an extension, depending upon what your size bars are. Let's pretend they're 14 inch bars. Maybe it's about that long. Maybe it's about eight inches long. And it will have plugs on either side. And you unplug from your the back, if it's a touring model Harley, from the back inside your bat wing, back behind the radio, you're gonna unplug that there. You're gonna plug it into the handlebars, into the wiring harness and the handlebars, and then down here, and then plug it back into your motorcycle easy plug and play right maybe let's talk about it if you are new here i thank you for stopping by and checking out this video i hope you stick around and check out some of my other videos my name is yogi and this is yogi cycle service and here at yogi cycle service we do motorcycle repairs we do service we do maintenance we do like everything motorcycle it doesn't even have to be a harley it can be whatever and not only do we do that but we do everything yogi related if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. But just if you're not subscribed, come on, man, give me some love. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you know when new videos are coming out. But today, I want to talk because... So, a week ago, I brought you a video talking about wiring problems and trying to find wire problems. What it turned out is there were two wires that are pretty much the exact same color. I just had them flipped backwards. Easy fix. Well, I have done another handlebar job that I'm doing. So this is a different one. The bike, uh, I did it in about four hours, swapping it over. It was really quick, really simple, really easy, but I ran into one problem. And that one problem now has me stumped. And the bike was appeared to be running fine. The customer rode it home, appeared to be running fine. But on the way home, he noticed his voltage meter going like this. He noticed also the cruise control didn't seem like it was functioning properly and when he hit the throttle the lights on his dash kind of kind of not pulsed but brightened so i'm like hmm this sounds like something having to do with uh, the throttle the throttle by wire harness probably customer bought the bars came with the kit uh, had two wires so that was or two wiring harnesses one for the controls on this side one for controls on this side. The throttle line is currently long enough. There are the two controls. This one from that side, this one from that side. And then the throttle. So what did I do? I wound up taking the plugs, the little micro, the Harley micro plugs off of the wires, off of the, off of the harness. I then pulled all the wires through Replugged in back the plugs, plugged in the extension, plugged in the motorcycle. I took pictures before I pulled the pl plugs apart, and this time it was really easy to tell colors, unlike last time, but obviously something's wrong. And I think the problem is in those little micro plugs. So I, you know, going into this, I thought to myself, I could, I could do that and pull apart those plugs, but why are those plugs there? Let's talk about that for a moment. So if you want to remove your handlebar, sure, it's really easy to clip, unplug. But old school, is that how it was done? No. I used to solder everything together. Solder, solder the, I mean, you don't want the handlebars on, we cut the harness, take it off. And put new handlebars on, solder in a new harness. You know, how often do you change handlebars? It's not like, you know, oh, I feel like taking off my saddlebag today. Oh, I think I'm gonna change my handlebars. Oh, I think I'll put a sissy bar on. No. That doesn't all work together. So when I used to do handlebars, I would take these off. I would probably cut the harness down somewhere down towards the middle. I would solder in I would solder in wires that would come out here. Then I'd make my second solder out here. So I have one solder staggered through the bars in here, and then one solder out here staggered down through the lines out here. Soldered together, good to go. And then Harley got smart, I suppose, and came out with these plugs. Now on the newer models, especially the Milwaukee 8s, they have these little things called micro plugs. They have the, the regular plugs, I don't know what, what their name is, but I've seen these referred to as micro plugs. The other plugs are bigger. The bigger plugs, you pull the cap up, you put a paper clip down in there, it frees the wire, you pull the wire out. 
these little minis, you take a safety pin and you put a safety pin down in the hole above where the, the plug-in is and there's a little tab in there and there's a little, a little triangle on the back of the wire. So a piece of metal come down, wire goes in, goes in and when you go to pull it out, the little triangle piece on is right here and that catches against this metal. So you put the safety pin in, you push up, you can pull the wire out. Put the pin in the hole, push up, feel for that little lip, because you'll feel it catch there. Go up, pull wire out. Not really that hard, except for this one. <laughs> this one has six wires in it. This is the, the throttle. Remember we talked about that a moment ago? Throttle having problems, throwing so, throttle showing signs of not being happy. So there are three wires coming out of this harness here, like that along with this pigtail, which I hadn't figured out what that is yet. Uh, still working on that. Now, mind you, Yogi Cycle Service. I am not professionally trained, uh, but I'm more than a weekend warrior, but I'm not a professional mechanic either, okay? Kind of leave it out there. So for any of this, I'm gonna throw the disclaimer out now. If you disagree with everything, hey, fine, whatever. There are more than one ways to skin a cat. I don't care. I'm just showing you what I know. These three wires came out of this harness, the red, the red, the white, the red, the white, both came out of here very easy. There's also a little rubber gasket or I don't know what you call it, like insulator on the back here that when you pull this out, it keeps all six wires in position. It's kind of like a waterproof, water seal type deal to seal, to seal it off. So I know the two blacks would not come out. The other, the red, white, and the red and white, they came out without a problem. I couldn't get the two blacks out. So I wound up folding it down, wrapping it up, and fished that one and this one, because I never took this one apart either. Fished them both through the handlebars, wrapped up like wrapped up like that. Came out the other side, plugged in the red, plugged in the white, plugged in the red, plugged in the white. All's good. The blacks were never unplugged, so I knew exactly where those were supposed to go. However, when that happened, this one black wire, after I got them all plugged in, this one black wire decides to go bing and pulls out of the thing. Hmm, I thought. So I went to put it back in there, and it's not catching the little tab that's supposed to hold it in place. Problem number one. Uh, these, I need to take these apart. I'm going to take these apart. I think, though, in my opinion, that is ugly as... I'm not going to use the word that I want to say. Ugly as, I ain't going to say it. As tempted as I am, I'm going to refrain. That won't happen with soldered wires. So my goal is to basically pull these two harnesses out and solder it all back together. I, I may be able to do it with, I may be able to do it without having to pull the harnesses out, but I am not, not, not pleased with these clips that you are supposed to clip this together and send that through i mean sending that through this turn right here that's tight and it's just no you don't have to worry about that when you solder the wires you don't worry about that and you know your connection's never going to come apart i don't trust this i don't like it i don't trust it for some it may work awesome if you're a harley tech that deals with it every single day that's awesome if you're somebody like me who does a a, a dozen to two two dozen handlebar jobs a year I just don't like it. I'd rather solder it together because I know the customer is never going to come back knocking on my door going, hey man, I got a problem. But every time I try to use some of these things, it just doesn't work. So I, I used it on the last handlebar job. I took the plugs apart, but they weren't these little micro plugs. They were the bigger plugs you used the paper clip for. And it worked much better. So my goal is I'm going to take this apart. I'm going to solder them all back together. And then tomorrow night, I'm going to put them on the customer bike and see what happens. So if you want to stick around for a minute, I'm just going to show you how I solder. Simple little soldering gun. Picked this up at Harbor Freight because my last one just died about five bikes ago. Pick that up. And it has a rosin core solder, which I really like this. You know, you, you touch it to, you touch it to, the wire, the soldering gun to the wire, you know, seconds, it's better than putting the resin on yourself and then holding the solder. This is all in one, you know, seconds later, it's soldering. Uh, so, highly recommended for that. 
highly recommend just soldering in general. I don't trust the plugs. Maybe they'll work for you. I don't like them. So they're going to go. So if you want to watch, stick around. I'll do one of these plugs. You can you can check it out. And uh, sure of that. I'll catch you later. I Yogi Clan. Peace. All right, thank you, those of you who stuck around. Let's get this unwrapped. Oh, that's a problem right there. That wire's not plugged in all the way either. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. See, I swear, every one I pushed in, I heard click. There it is. I don't know if you can see it right there. It wasn't seated all the way down there. All right, we're just going to do one at a time. And make sure I can get a heat shrink tube on here. So we're going to keep everything else plugged together. I'm trying to leave about four inches of room to get heat shrink on there. And cut this off right behind the plug. Strip about a half inch off. Twist. Cut the clip off of there. I'm gonna put this over top. Try to keep it back as far as you can from that, from the uh, solder joint because it's gonna get hot. I'm gonna take these two. I'm gonna cross them and then just weave them or twist them, twist them together. Yeah, hopefully a skinny little joint. Make sure there's no ends poking up. You know, the old school is get a little bit going on there but with this stuff with the rosin core it won't stick to it like regular like when you just put flux on it i can think that's called tinning i put a little bit of flux on there i do need to clean off this tip this tip is pretty dirty touch it to the iron put a little bit on there there we go okay wire insulation on Ease it up. Good. all right all four wires are done. Now I have this extra little pigtail here that needs to be done. But all four of those wires are done. So I'm probably going to put two little strips around there just to bundle those four together. That way those four wires remain together as those four. There. Now that wiring harness, I am confident, will not cause me any problems. There we go. There's a finished product. No more clip in the middle. Mm -hmm.